Well, Rob, first day of pre-season is a day I think the players dread, isn't it? It's into the hurt locker a bit. But, uh... Uh, a little bit, a little bit, but they, they also like meeting up again and getting back into it. I mean, you know, it's what they do for a living. It's also what they do for pleasure. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a great job to have. Um, and so, no, you know, there's been plenty of smiles around. I mean, testing, you know, parts of it are very, very physically tough. But a lot of the, of the stuff we do today is kind of one-off maximal efforts uh, just to see where the guys stand. So, you know, they're not, they're not running around throwing up or anything at the moment. A bit tougher this afternoon. But, but we'll see how it goes, you know. To be fair, testing is always good. It gives us that first benchmark. The boys always, you know, as long as I've been here, I've always seen them turn up in good nick. You know, the odd one or two guys who haven't have, have normally suffered um, and struggled to, to feature during that season. And I think the boys are very aware of that. And, you know, first looking at it is, you know, it, look, it almost looks like so far 100% take up on, on coming in in really good nick. For uh, the new players coming in, it's like a first day at school. They've got yeah. to know you, they've got to know the, the club, they've got to know their, their new teammates. And yeah. that. But um, you've done a lot of hard work on the research of these new boys and that. Mm. You, you know they'll settle in, all right? Well, I don't know. I hope. <laughs> you know, I think, I think they will. You know, I think they will. They seem to, be, seem to be getting on all right now. You know, we put a lot of onus on them being good guys and good teammates and, and working hard to be in good characters around the place. You know, they are, they are the foundation that the club's built on and the success of the club. Uh, and they've got to appreciate that, you know. Some people you know, think by being important you can not behave in a correct manner. Other people realise if you're an important person, the way you behave and the characters you show kind of can spread up through a, through a whole organisation. And that's what we want the players to do. We want the players to lead by example more than anything else. And, but, you know, most of us know most of the players who are here and that they're good characters and they're good guys. And, um, I'm expecting you know that of the new players as well. Pre-season is where really where you lay the foundation mm. for the season and that and in recent years it's been the real bedrock of what the season's been all about. What are you hoping from this year? I'm, I'm hoping for us to progress. You know I think as a coaching team we're quite excited about this pre-season um, primarily because we see plenty of areas where we can get better. Um, two or three that we think we can hit very quickly and very early on and, and start addressing even on training in training on Monday. Um, we'll start working on those areas, and as I say, they're, they're not um, they're not massive fix-up for us. You know, we don't have to find uh, a, a massive degree of fitness or physicality or strength. We don't have to, you know, hope we've suddenly found a, a miracle try score out of anywhere. You know, those aren't the fix-ups with Rafter. You know, we we've had a good look at a, a lot of the things we've done, particularly in the last 10, 12 games of the season, where we we played in a slightly different way, um, with with a bit more ambition. Um, we were pleased with the way we played and we've, we've analysed those games quite closely and it's, it's interesting to see, you know, we, we finished fifth in the Premiership and we were far from perfect, which is, which is great. And as I say, we've identified a few fix-ups that I know the boys will work hard at. I know they'll work hard on the conditioning, we've got a great conditioning team here. Um, and, you know, it, it's, like I say, it's, it's something that rubs off on all the players, how hard they work. But, um, no, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to Monday. I'm looking forward to seeing what the boys course, come up with over the next couple of days. But, uh, no, it's, it's, it's full on next week and, as I say, I... I think the boys will enjoy the programme we put together for them. For a large percentage of the squad, they know you, they know the club and that, but what have you said that, you know, make them think a little bit more about this season, especially for those guys that have been here for several years now? It's not so much about thinking any more about this season, but it's, you know, that, that if you play in an ambitious way and you're an ambitious player and, and you know what that means, you know, it's easy to say we're ambitious and we want to win things, you know, that it, it's an easy thing to say, but understanding what you have to do to the little bits and pieces that you have to do on an everyday basis to make that happen, that's what takes a little bit of time we're quite good at understanding that you know what you do today will make a difference in the last day of the season uh, and understand that every session you're part of uh, is an opportunity to get better an opportunity to to work yourself at an intensity that you have to play at in the Premiership or the Heineken Cup and they're all opportunities for you to get better at what you need to do and we, we keep pushing that we've pushed that this morning that we expect everyone to be flat out from day one um, and kind of as I keep saying, you know, for them, it's for them to pick the first team of the season, not not for us. You know, they had their first opportunity to do that today. Obviously, a change in the strength and conditioning side of things with Twigsy heading it up this year, yeah. but new guys on board as well, so they'll bring new ideas, I'd imagine. Yeah, and looking at them working over the last two or three weeks in the office and the the, the way they've. Uh, they've looked at the training program, talked about nutrition and slightly changed things around the supplement procedure and, and the changing program having a few slight tweaks. You know, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the, the work they've already put in. You know, James Parks seems to have fitted in you know, fantastically well. 
Uh, Rob Bedard's now kind of more here in a full-time role. We've brought in a, an intern to replace him. So we've, we've got a we've got a we've got a good staff there. You know, Coxie, Mark, uh, Nick Cox is here now full-time, having been kind of on and off part-time over the last couple of years. So I, I'm I'm impressed by what, what I've seen so far, and you know the results will be seen not just by the testing now because a lot of these boys have been working with the conditions for a few weeks you know, in the off season but maybe in a month's time when we retest and, and we'll really see what a good job they've done. For you going back a few years, do you, do you uh, relish pre-season as a player? Is it something that you, um, is I it think a necessary I'll, evil? I'll be honest with you, I think, I think the, the, the programme the boys do here now is probably a fair bit more enjoyable than what you do as a part-time part-time player when I think there was I think there was one season at Exeter when we were kind of semi-professional where we, we were in the gym every morning at half past six went did a day's work and then we're training again at seven o'clock I think either three or four evenings and that was tough I don't mind saying it you Trips know and, as well. yeah, and you know <laughs> sleeping on floors and Vince, but, but that's it's kind of very character building as well and we've we've maintained an element of that and, you know we always have been you know our our pre-seasons are deliberately tough um, because it does build character and it builds a strength and you know if the guys look at each other on a Friday afternoon and they're just about out on their feet and they're ready to go home that's just about where you want them to be and you know we, we've done that for years and like I say we, we get a lot of things right you know uh, the boys act in a very professional manner and hopefully we'll reap the rewards. And finally for you as coaches it's another year for you big mm. year not just in the Premiership but the Heineken Cup for the yeah. first time exciting times for you guys. Definitely that's how we've got to look at it you know we talk to the players about being ambitious and striving to see what they can achieve and it's very very much the same for us you know our role is to help them achieve you know, the maximum they can uh, and at the same time help the club move forward and be part of what's a very you know the bigger picture here you know I see, I see my role very much as a yes there's a, there's a rugby team to run and there's players to improve but there's also a bigger picture role for myself and for some of the other coaching staff and other staff here are developing this club and moving the whole thing forward because the, the two have to go hand in hand uh, you know the club and the development of the club and the development of the team and the way they both move has to have to keep pace with each other um, we've just got to be careful one doesn't outrun the other but at the minute things are, are ticking along pretty well um, and you know, hopefully, hopefully people enjoy coming and watching Exeter, and not just in the Premiership, but in the Heineken Cup, and and see that we're an ambitious side, and it means a lot to us. You talk about development. We've seen that obviously over the last few months. TJ going to win mm. his third cap this weekend. Nacho has been doing fantastic for Argentina. Yeah. Gonzo will be away. Dean Mum potentially with Australia. Yeah. It's exciting times for those players, and you're seeing yeah. the rewards of, of their work. It is, but um, I think you know it's great individual rewards for them. But that's that's kind of what you have to see. You know, the the more successful a team you're involved with, the more likely you are to get some international recognition for yourself personally and that's got to be a big driver for us as a as like I say as a set of players and as a club and hopefully it's a problem well not a problem I mean it's, it's a problem sometimes in your organization and they're not here with you but it's it's a problem we'll learn to enjoy and we'll learn to have you know to deal with more and more as, as things go on but some of those things some of those things are kind of things that will happen on a on a very gradual basis and I think you know it's still we're, we're still very much a premiership club in its infancy and our, we've got to make sure we're, we're very good and we're very solid from game one this season first and foremost and we'll we're, we can talk about ambition but like I say it's the it's the steps you take to be ambitious that we've we've got to make sure we don't try and skip any of them because obviously you know what we want to be is a very solid premiership side. Brilliant. Thanks,